Jacob, welcome to the club. Can you explain how the deal came about? Oh, well, I was just um, at home in the summer and my um, agent phoned me and um, said there was an opportunity to come to Aldershot. And so I've looked into the opportunity. I've um, heard good things about the club, about how they play football, they're a footballing team. So I thought it would be right for me. And um, I've come down, the uh, gaffer said to me, he's seen me play before, so I'm not coming into a place where um, he hasn't seen me play, so as, as some other trialists do. So um, coming had a tough few first days with the running and those sort of things. Um, but really enjoyed it. Went on a trip to Lillishaw, thought I did very well out there. I've uh, come back and um, progressed over the pre-season period and um, I've been lucky enough to um, be awarded with a contract. So you're happy with the impact that you've made in that time? Yeah, uh, I feel like I could do more but that's me being harsh, harsh on myself so yeah I feel like I can always improve but um, for the time I've been, been here I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed being with the boys, um, I'm ready for the season really, I'm ready and raring to go, I just want to get out there and show you everyone I can do really. I think everybody that was at Leatherhead saw the first 15 minutes. You, uh, I think you, in the whole in that first half, you created three goals, scored one yourself. That that was some way to announce yourself in style. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. It's like I, we had a game the day before, so I didn't think I was even going to play. But the manager said, oh, "You said how are you feeling before the game?" I said, "Good." And I see my name on the team chest. Oh, well, time to go. So um, yeah, just me doing what I really do, and then I, well, when I'm in a good footballing environment. And I can express myself to the fullest. That's what you get, can get, kind of get out of me. So, yeah, good way to introduce myself. Hopefully, to hopefully everyone can see more during throughout the season. So that that pace, that skill, that that real direct running, kind of bearing down on goal. Not yeah. some wingers like to beat their man three times and then get nowhere. You don't seem to be that sort of player. How how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I can do be the be the direct person. I can be the intricate person. I've got many different styles to my game, but um, whatever the team needs at that point, like in that certain game against Leatherhead, it was me stay wide, get the ball and beat my man, get in the box, get create. That's what I like to do. So as long as I'm, as long as I'm creating, whichever way you put me, I'm, I'm good. But yeah, the direct, direct, the direct style of play does work. And in your career, you you played a small part of time as a left back, but you're you're definitely a winger now. Yes, yeah, definitely a winger now. Um, I sort of look at like it like the kind of the Gareth Bale transition mm. in a way, but um, yeah, I was a left back. I uh, got moved there because I was playing attacking first. I got moved there because I was small, I was tiny, so I got moved there and uh, I did well there. But I was always an attacking left back, so I just go forwards. And then they realised one game at Chris Palace in the Youth Cup, I scored a hat trick against Sheffield Wednesday, and they realised, oh, maybe he's not. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't play him defence and then after that I've been moved and I've played in and around the number 10 centre midfield left wing right wing but I enjoy just attacking and getting on the ball so you've still got that little bit of versatility in you as, as a 10 or a winger you, yeah. you can play different yeah. positions yeah I, I enjoy it I enjoy wherever wherever I'm putting the attack so yeah I also like playing with my back to go it's something that people don't really enjoy but I enjoy doing those things so yeah uh, you said in your youth, you, you were tiny. You're certainly not that now. You seem to have grown and filled out. So I guess that yeah. you don't shy away from the physical side of the game. No, not at all. Not at all. Usually known as one of the stronger players in the team, but even now the gaffer's got me um, <laughs> attacking and marking from set pieces, something I've never done before. But I'm embracing a new role because I'm in this team, and not very big because I'm one of the tallest. But so it's kind of weird with me going from oh I'm usually the smallest <laughs> to being the tallest. So yeah, yeah it's quite interesting. What. Well, to go back to the summer, you said you know, your agent said there was there was a chance to come down here. What? How did Gary and James sell the club to you? What did they say to, to convince you to come here? Well, the club kind of sold itself. The gaff, the gaffer, his personality and the way he is, everyone knows he, he loves a young player. He loves talent. So when I got when I got down there first day of training and the way we passed the ball and the way we moved, I was like, yeah, this this is the right. I went home and said, yeah, this is probably the right place for me, regardless of. If other opportunities come up in higher leagues, I said, no, this is the right place for me football-wise and it's going to be able to, for me to progress in my career, I thought this is the best move for me. So you're seeing the bigger picture that this club can make you a better player yeah, correct. and hopefully everyone will benefit in yeah. your future career, you go on to bigger and better things. Yeah, correct, definitely. That's, that's the main reason I'm here because James Rowe, great coach, the gaffer, great manager, so I feel like this is, a per this is the perfect place for me right now in my career especially as the way we play, the pitch, especially at the, the ground, great pitch, so we just pass the ball, move, and 
it's the best place for me to express myself. Excellent. You clearly had a good grounding in the in the Crystal Palace Academy, but do you, you feel it's time for you to make that step up to senior football? Yes, definitely time now. I feel like I was in the 23 system maybe a bit too long. Maybe should have got should have got a bit earlier, but now and now I feel like I'm ready to be there, be out there. So yeah, definitely now is the time, and I can't wait for Saturday. <laughs> What do you hope to achieve this season? Well, hopefully promotion with the team. Definitely promotion with the team. I feel like we're good enough. To, we're definitely good enough to get that. Um, personally, just want to prove to everyone that's maybe not said I can do it or not said I was quite good enough. I don't know many of them, but not quite good enough. Um, that they'll, they'll see this season what I can do. So that and team-wise, definitely promotion and just helping the team out in every way I can. And the National League is, is full of those players who've maybe had to come out of the academy setup, mm -hmm. drop down to then make the, the move back up. Bernard Benser, who came out of Watford, enjoyed his time here and is now at Bristol Rovers, is a, a perfect example. I suppose you hope to emulate that success by dropping down to, to move forward. Yeah, quite, yeah, most definitely. If it's not with this club, then it's with another club. But yeah, for right now, just trying to focus on what we're doing right here now and try and get promotion and then after we'll see what happens. But definitely for the future, I want to be back in the Premier League. But Excellent. Yeah, we'll works here first. You've already shown how enthusiastic you are for Saturday. You're looking forward to, to facing Barnet yeah. if selected. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if selected, yeah. I'm looking forward to the game, 100%. And I want to get out there and show all the other fans that didn't see what happened at Lemonhead, what can happen at Barnet. We're very excited about that. Thank you very much and welcome again. Thank you very much.